So this is what Negan did during the summer. I don't even watch The Walking Dead. I just made the reference to seem cool. Beautiful Geekies, this is my review for Desierto, directed by Jonas Cuaron, the brother to Alfonso Cuaron. He wrote and directed this movie, and he wrote it along with Mateo Garcia, and this movie stars Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Gabriel Garcia Bernal. And it's about a group of people who are trying to cross the border, they're Mexicans, they're trying to cross the border illegally to the United States, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan just plays a racist son of a bitch who's trying to kill them all to not allow them into the country. This movie, you watch the trailer, seems really cool and they really sell you hard on this guy, Jonas Cuaron, being the brother of the director of Gravity. That's all this movie has to it. Look, from this movie, clearly, this guy, Jonas Cuaron, really knows how to frame a shot. He has some beautiful imagery in this movie and the cinematography is amazing as well. Every single shot of the scenery and of the characters is beautifully crafted. And the two main actors give very good performances in this movie. I really like the intensity brought on by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I really like the vulnerability shown and displayed throughout the whole movie by Gabriel Garcia Bernal, and that's about where the good things of this movie end. Look, this movie would have been a fan-freaking-tastic 25 to 20 minute film from the last 20 minutes of this movie it would have been great in a festival going out into all the theaters in the country this would have been a spectacular maybe Oscar nominated short film as a 19 minute feature I'm not so sure about it you guys know how sometimes we complain that trailers show too much from these big, big summer blockbusters and they show 1500 trailers and then 2000 TV spots and then everything is spoiled for us. Well, I watched one trailer for this movie. One trailer for what it is apparently an independent movie for all I know, produced by Alfonso Cuaron by his own money and as these small actors and a bunch of the cast honestly are just a bunch of extras because there's no characters to anyone, there's no character development to anyone. There's a conversation that Gabriel Garcia Bernal has with another girl in about one hour into the movie when there's only 30 minutes left or 28 to be more precise. But this conversation serves no purpose because everything they say on that conversation you already know, you already were told through movie making, through filmmaking, through directing, through subtle and clever writing and no one evolves in this movie. Every character is the same from beginning to end. And look, that's not necessarily a bad thing. My problem is that with the trailers they show you every single beat of this movie. The actual ending of this movie is the only thing that you don't know as you are watching this. Everything is predictable until then. The trailers show you beat by beat what is going to happen. There's a quick confrontation between Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Gabriel Garcia Bernal. What you see in the trailer, if you've seen it, is what you see in this movie. There's this dog that always goes after the people when Jeffrey Dean Morgan can get to them. If you've seen the trailer, you've seen what happens to this dog, what he does, to which people he does things to. If you've seen the trailers, you've seen the first half hour of this movie in its entirety. I'm not exaggerating. The thing about this movie is that it leaves nothing to be unpredictable. It leaves nothing to the imagination. It is well shot, it has two good performances, but beyond that, it has nothing. It doesn't have characters. It doesn't have a full-fledged, layered, deep story. On the surface, it's something that could be fan freaking tastic. It has these two really good actors who could come out in this movie and be very well Oscar nominated, but then the writing and the directing just don't allow for it. I will repeat myself, it is well shot, it is set up in terms of lighting and colors very well, the cinematography looks good. 
But that's the best thing I can say about this movie. And about the script as well. It looks great, but then there's just no meat to anything. The Cierto is a movie that you will be curious about as you're watching it if you haven't watched the trailers. But if you have, and there was just one trailer for this movie and they completely butchered how they should have done things. There are so many elements that you can pick up in this movie and think about better ways to explore that and give this movie two hours and have it really layered out and deepened with as characters go, as story goes, as metaphors go. The motifs in this movie could have been so well explored but you just don't feel like there was any effort to do so. The story is very simple. It is not because of giving it motifs and metaphors that you would have made it very complicated. The Cierto is something that you can see that it was a passion project, but it was not very well explored. They just basically wanted to make a movie and sell this on the fact that the brother of Alfonso Cuaron made it. Because of all that, I can't really recommend the Cierto and I have to give it, unfortunately, a Clark Gable. What did you think of this year, my beautiful geekies? Have you seen it? Have you not? Are you a fan of Alfonso Cuaron? Are you looking forward to see more movies from Jonas Cuaron? Let me know all that in the comments below and also don't forget your questions are still in time to be asked for the Doctor Strange Q&A. Just hashtag Doctor Strange Q&A and ask any questions you want about any subject you want. They can be personal, they can be geeky, they can be about movies, it can be about comics, about music, about school. Just ask away, my friends. And of course, you can stalk me on the internet through my Instagram, Facebook, and my vlog channel. All those links are in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And of course, if you are not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We are so many geekies in this community. Join the beautiful geeky community and we can be geeky united. Thank you so much for watching, my beautiful geekies. You guys are the best. We are growing so fast. I can hardly believe it. And it's all thanks to you. So thank you so much for that. And don't forget, you stay beautiful. You stay geeky. Adios. Adios.